What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we are back for another episode of Lies of P. So, thank you all for joining us and for all the support throughout this series. Um, we are, we just beat the Floco, Fluoco boss, and we kind of just explored the, uh, Crot, excuse me, couldn't remember what it was called. Uh, we just explored that and kind of got back there. We started moving along toward the next Stargazer. I don't think we made too much more progress than that. So we're going to hop right into it. And, uh, oh, actually, I do remember. We were going to do a side mission really quickly. Uh, so give me one second here. Throw this up so I can see it on my phone. Hey, what's up, David? Nice to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming into the stream. So I remembered that David actually was the one who told me there is there's a side mission down here and we had discovered it but I didn't know what to do or I couldn't remember what we were told or whatever ended up happening and uh, turns out that we are meant to I believe blow a whistle or something like that at the place where the side mission is. I wasn't able to do that at the end of last stream, so we're going to do that really quickly here before we get into the rest of the main game. If only we could play Murphy. Okay, see, Mrs. Murphy. And so, oh, Winterful, Winter Festival Peaked Hat. Ernest Reindeer's Antlers, Midwinter Night's Red Nose. Wow, okay. So we should totally put that on. I know we have good armor on, but you know what? Let's celebrate a little bit. So, a red peaked hat worn to celebrate Krat's winter festival. It is said that the benevolent saint gives presents to good children. They say the saint knew when children lied. Yet, he still loved the world full of such lies. Oh, and we also have this. Ernest Reindeer's Antlers. An antler headband accessory worn to celebrate Krat's winter festival. The Ernest Reindeer flew with the saint and his gifts across the silent night sky. It is said that children who receive gifts from the saint drape their treasures over the reindeer's antlers. Following tradition, the people of Krat hang their fruits of appreciation on the winter festival tree and what else did we get we got a nose right <laughs> okay so instead of the glasses we can use the nose and nose to celebrate Krat's winter festival the reindeer's red nose showed the way through the foggy night benini loved the guiding reindeer so much that he hung a marvelous red nose on the tram on the day of the winter festival the reindeer tram soaring across the side soon became symbol of Kratz winter festival okay so we're gonna be uh santa hat with a red nose all right so uh toma wants to play with us i believe david told me in my key items right is that what it was there is a whistle a faded whistle it's been worn smooth from use. The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may have been discarded as a failure, but in those moments, at least, he was the children's police officer. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to use our whistle here. Hey, that sound. Is that you, Murphy? I don't know. Did Murphy look like this? I know that whistle. It must be Murphy. Thanks for coming by. I want to play, but I feel too sick. I, I don't think I can. Off the log, gonna get that good I idea. Miss Zach and Sophie and Eric. I wish we could all play. Me too, buddy. Hey, Grandma! Thanks for coming into the stream. Radiant Ergo Fragment. All right, so did we complete that quest line for now? Rose calling Murphy a clown. Hey, I'm not trying to insult Murphy. It's just if Murphy looked like this, then yeah, maybe I'm Murphy, all right? So I think that was all we had to do. I'm not sure if there's another step to this. Um, I'm going to go back to the Stargazer. And if there is... I will go wherever it tells me to. If there's not, we will try and progress with the story. Pretty simple. But I am glad we got to do that. 
Uh, looks like we did what we were supposed to do for now. So we're at Moonlight Town. That's where we're going to teleport to. And that's where our journey is going to be for today's episode. Okay, so this was the last Stargazer that we got before going back to do the side mission. So now we're just going to see what we can do. Bodies. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Oh, did puppets do this? Very possibly. They're quite lethal. I don't know why that would still surprise you at this point. I, uh, I finished Lords of the Fallen over the weekend, 100%ing it, so that was pretty fun because that was the game, one of the games that we played on here. I love the 100% all the games we streamed, and uh, it had some it had some quirks, but honestly, I really enjoyed it. It got more enjoyable as the game went on. Uh, it had a lot of challenge in the new game plus plus area. They really weren't messing around. They decided to make it like super difficult there. But you know what? It was honestly still fun. And so now I just have to go back and do Code Bane. We have to do the Bloodborne DLC. And uh, I need to go back and do uh, finish Sekiro 100%. I've done a little bit more, but I haven't gone back and 100%ed it yet. And Elden Ring. So, you know, we're almost there. Actually, I just want to look at something real quick. Hi. I know that that guy, Toma, had given me some sort of radiant ergo something or other. I don't know if that's like a permanent increase to it. You know how they have these in some of these games? I'm going to get attacked very shortly. I can hear him. Oh, is that right there? Is it just a consumable that he gave me? That's what I thought at first, but... Yeah, okay. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't something that could be benefiting us. I see. <laughs> Things did not, in fact, go as planned. Oh. Oh, I see. You don't want to hit the explosives when you're in this area. Nice. Two crescent moonstones, baby. Moonlight Town Guide. Okay. Moonlight Town is the lowest place in the city, where pilgrims prepare for their journeys. Since St. Frangelico met the one-winged angel and founded the church... Moonlight Town had, has become known as the place where pilgrims are lifted to the cathedral by pulley and prepare for their pilgrimages. Uh, Andreas's reputation was at its peak when he was appointed as a priest. At the time, Krat was only a poor country town, but Andreas didn't mind and devoted himself to taking care of the people. They were even saying that St. Frangelico himself had returned. Moonlight Town actively helped the priest's good deeds and always acted together as colleagues who delivered the word of God. The decision to accept the alchemist from outside and revive Krat was made in Moonlight Town. After all, it was the birthplace of the Krat we know today. Today we have cable railways instead of pulleys and the city of the future instead of a country village, but our virtues remain unchanged. Just like how the angel wrapped St. Frangelico in his wings when he fell in the cold, people should help each other. The place lower than any other Moonlight Town is proof that virtue is still here. Okay. We have a ladder or cross a log. 
Um, maybe this is for us to drop down to? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't seem like we can do anything that way. Let's go left. Left first. All right. <laughs> Very empty little grid right there. I see. I see what has happened. I also see that I have forgotten my water. Rip. Rip in peace. All right. Um, kind of it's not too short of a distance, is it? We got to run. Can I jump? Oh, I can actually jump over that. Okay. And... Okay, cool. So this puts us... If we jump over that bridge, we don't have to go down there. So that actually, that makes a lot of sense why that was kind of elongated. Now let's go back in here. Let's try not to get killed by the broom man. Excuse me. Allow me to have my chest iframes. <laughs> One heck of a hit. All right. Try this again. No. forward again. Let's get rid of this guy first. Hey, back off a little bit. Hey. Alright, well at least we got the chest item. Well, you know what? We got everything in there, so now we can run through that gate when it opens next time. <laughs> I'll peek you your blinders. Hey, what's up? It's nice to see. See, isn't that so funny? I couldn't help but put that. Who up peeking their blinders right now? Absolutely amazing. Thank you for going along with it. I found it just hilarious when I heard that. So, 
We haven't done much, but to catch you up, we finished a little side quest for the person in the window. And wow, that is just not good under any circumstances. Okay. The uh, I got a chuckle from it. Good, I'm glad. I really, I really enjoyed that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we completed the side quest. We went back to Moonlight Town now, and we started progressing. I, uh, don't exactly know where we're trying to go right now. I know we're trying to figure out who is pulling all the strings, and, uh, Benini said there's only one entity that could do that, and that would be the king of all puppets, whoever that is. Uh, I would think that was the creator, but I don't think that's actually what they're referring to. Let's see if I can actually not get just absolutely trapped that time. Got a saw blade, which is pretty cool. I think they shut the gate. They did. They actually shut this gate on me. Uh, so I may die here, but at least we got the items. Yeah, that's a, actually a tough area. But now we got everything from it, I believe. I do want to go back and get my points, my uh, my ergo. So I'll run back in there another time. Hopefully I'm able to escape with it this time. But if not, at least we got everything that we need to actually get there. King of Puppets is not the greater puppets. He is a puppet. Okay, see, that makes sense. Uh, that makes perfect sense. And that is what I thought, by the way, they were speaking about him. But it just felt like the King of the Puppets would be like the creator of the puppets, in my mind. I'm going to be stuck here, actually. We're all under... We are all puppets under the proletariat. What is that? The government? I actually don't know what that word is. You know me, I like to I like to educate myself when I do not know. I'm sure you will explain it, but I wanna know. Workers are working class people regarded collectively often used to reference Marxism. Oh, okay. That actually makes perfect sense. Well, uh Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we're all puppets to the the ways of life in this country, aren't we? Uh, fella. Put your leg up a little bit. All right. I'm not trying to waste the whole stream in this one room. So uh, let's see if we can do it one more time. If we don't get out this time. Let's just skip it. I didn't think it would be this hard, but they shut you in and they do not want to let you leave. They trap you in there. It's so rude. I thought the firebomb people were bad, but actually the the freaking broom people are by far the... Oh my gosh. Okay. That is... Uh, I keep going for my water, and then I'm like, oh, I actually forgot it, so that's good. Truly comrade. <laughs> Truly comrade. That is... Uh, that's true. Dude, they really don't. I was like, all right, I can get out of this. Like, I'm just being silly. Man. I might have to give up that. Is there, um... There might be something that recovers it for us instantly that I might just want to do. Because that is obscene. I guess I could do... I could go die by the gate if I was going to die. We're going to give it one more go. I know I keep saying that, but I keep finding myself in this situation. If I'm going to die, I want to die right here in hopes that it will allow me to grab it through the gate. But we might... Can we come out on top? Oh. Ooh. No. Why are there so many of you? No. All right. Die by the gate. Okay, good. 
good. We might have done it. But man, that is that is a tough room right there. Dude, they're not messing around. Like, that's way harder than any of the bosses I've fought so far in this game. Ugh. Alright. Well, hopefully I can just grab my air go. Air go and go. It's like an Airbnb. We, uh... If we can grab it, I'll just leave. Because I don't even think I... I mean, you might get... Oh, no. They put it too far in there, didn't they? Because there's the gate. Can I get it? No! <laughs> Why? I am just... I have to just lose my... My ergo. Enough! Could this be the run, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Thank God, let me out. So which one of you was pulling the actual lever to, <laughs> to keep me stuck in here all these times? Here we go. Excuse me, here we go. All right. Yeah, that was actually pretty awesome. I like how you said <laughs> the puppet shield instead of the meat shield. I, you know, that one, that room was surprisingly tough. Those broom and pitchfork people are something else. Okay. Well... What's up, fella? Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. Okay, they became puppets. I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you... A stalker. Not in the sense that you think. Give the stalkers greeting. Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. Good. Please be safe up there. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please, be please, safe. please, please be safe. Okay. So. I think that was a lie, right? We're not a stalker. I think a stalker is one of the gangs. Or, um, not really gangs, but they're like groups of, of people. They're on opposite sides. There's the stalkers and something else. I remember learning about last time. Stalkers, and I think it was literally called like the bastards or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Pilgrim's Cable Railway. Now, those of you who joined us in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. <laughs> Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. <laughs> I kid, I kid, Frangelica, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of the beautiful crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! Thanks, Gemini. Well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, uh, 
You look annoyed. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> ah, sure, it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. Nice. Uh, David said the wise words of please be, please be, please be, please be, please be, please be, please be safe up there. Those are wise words, in fact. I mean, you know, sometimes you really just have to express how important it is to you. I recognize dead puppets. That's to be expected. But what is that? Okay, we got the stargazer. We should go level up. What is what, though? That stuff? I don't know what's going on over there. It's like a zombie. I'm going to Hotel Crot real quick. I went for my water again. Okay. I'm going to reach back for you. One second. Okay. Mmm. Nothing like some good hydration. So. Okay. What is up, my friend? I'll use my power to help you. We get three levels this time. Hmm. See, the electric blitz attack actually goes up. You guys had mentioned this to me. This stuff could be useful, honestly. Maybe I should actually be a little bit more well-rounded. Let's add, you know, let's do something we don't normally do. Let's add capacity, technique, and advance. We still get all the regular perks of leveling up anyway, so it ends up not helping us as much as the other ones. It's okay. We're going to the Path of Misery, which just sounds absolutely wonderful. I am grateful we can go on this journey together, and I really hope that it works out for us. Okay. Dr. Jekyll. Uh, no idea what those things are, pal. We're proof of caution. Hmm. Really is like a zombie. Fire really does cause me to overheat. Carcasses are weak to fire. That means their bodily fluid is also okay. Hidden Moonstone. You know, you might be weak to fire, but have you considered uh, I'm going to keep using the same electric weapon that I've been using? I genuinely figured that was going to be the case. St. Frangelico Falls. 
and breathes his last breath, the angels of God will look after him. All right, so these are the angels. This is the bridge. Should we go that way? We probably should explore this real quick. This is where we were. So I guess that's just another path you can take, which is totally fine. What is happening? What's their problem? Wait, wait, their bodies are strangely altered. I thought that was clear. I thought that was pretty obvious, my friend. Woman's prayer. God, I pray with all my heart. Please withdraw your wrath from Krat. Just as you envelope Sir Frangelico with angel's wings, please save us as well. Enveloped. Good word. Uh, if the judgment was unavoidable because of our corruption, please at least spare my child your wrath. This baby has done no wrong. Please let my Charlotte enter heaven. If there's anyone who finds this place, please pray for us and know that there was desperate sadness here. Hey, what's up, Krim? Nice to see you, my friend. Pray. You are exhausted and injured. Okay, do I have... What is it? What is it? I do not have, like, a... I don't think I have... Like a prey. I don't know if it would be called that or not, but it doesn't seem like I did. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do there. That seems like a pretty easy hint. How has Liza P been? It's been good so far. Uh, making good progress today. Finished the side mission we were on and continuing the main quest. Found some, I guess, infected or altered humans. The king wishes to all oh, monsters. Oh, excite the. So says the king. Oh, what was that? We were so close. I like how that text is like that. It is so as such a good mechanic. It's not even a mechanic. It's such a good. Uh, I don't know. Good concept even. Oh my gosh, you can put on a clown nose? Yeah, it's for Christmas. It's really like Rudolph's nose, but yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's basically just a clown nose. <laughs> and we also got this. So we can go over here, uh, and we can put on antlers as well. <laughs> it's really cool. We're celebrating for the holidays. It's the little things. The little things like that really make it all more all the more enjoyable we got it just when we logged in today you don't have to do anything special i'm glad you like it i thought it was pretty cool oh here we're probably gonna get the prey emote uh, mercy i beg you Gian don't Gio. kill me Gio. what a good name i thought you were from the organization uh never mind my name is Janjo. Janjo. I'm an alk uh, a pharmacist. Yes, pharmacist. I'm looking for the legendary gold coin fruit. I was able to use medicine to slow the infection spread. 
I have the petrification disease, and I need a cure. Sorry, I ramble when I'm nervous. Read this. It'll explain things faster than I can. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Alright. Oh, um... Gwilam's Ballad. Gwilam? Is that how we're pronouncing that? Gwilam. Might be Gwilame. Gwilame. I don't know. Could go either way here. Let's do uh, Gwilam. Let's just say that. If I'm butchering it, I'm butchering it. Gwilam's Ballad. Gwilam, the king's knight, found the shining tree on the Rocky Mountain. The tree's fruit resembles gold coins, and this fruit is a miraculous blessing for many people who have recovered from different diseases and who have been able to escape the plague. The elated knight built a castle and called himself the Holy Knight. But remember, sojourners, miracles always have a price, no matter how captivating they may be. M many substances can be poisonous. The precise dose is what separates medicine from poison. That is a good point. The gold coin fruit might just be a myth. But in the midst of an epidemic, it might be our salvation. C can you let me know if you find it? I'll give you this by way of payment. Cube and recovery wish stone. There are various kinds of wish stones which can be equipped to cubes. Using cubes consumes wish stones. You can equip a wish stone to a cube or replenish it through your Geo or Stargazer. Okay. People of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. The wish stone could be... Yep. Uh... You can equip... Okay. People of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. The wish stone could be put in a cube made from a meteorite to display special powers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I know what to do with it now. Cool. All right. Well, uh, whatever. We got that. You will rise up and look after the land of God when the angel spreads its wings and embraces... Yo, why is everything in this game a speed run? Let me read it. It embraces the saint and the cold is forgotten. Okay. Belford brake cartridge. Cool. Alright. We did not get like a prayer emote, I'm to but St. Francisco Cathedral. You can find me there if you need me. Okay, do you want me to talk to you again or something? The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special powers. After distilling the wish into a cube made from a meteorite. I don't know how it works. But, but it's said to react to someone who has ergo and grant them power. If you can help me with the gold coin tree, I I'll give you more of this. Seems there's a new threat every day, friend. And no safe place in the world. No place to just take a breath. I'm headed to the St. Frangelico Cathedral. Perhaps find some peace there. If you find the gold coin tree, please find me there. Okay, let's see. Switch the cube's wish down. So, it's the same description we already saw. So, it temporarily restores HP. A mystical crystal that can be equipped to a cube, it imbues the cube with a special effect. A mystical crystal embedded with the wish of a star, when you use it, can display a special effect. Okay. Sure. I mean, sounds cool. Let's ask about the, the key. people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special. Uh, uh, I don't. Okay. Do you ever wish upon okay. a star, Stalker? I hope this wish stone helps you with that. So I think he said pretty much the same the lines. We already heard Krat, that. Claimed special powers after yeah, we were, uh, I don't know how yeah, it we read that. So it's just that little bit at the end that was different. Okay, ask for something else. He doesn't have anything else. Okay, so that should be everything now. Now we got the cube, which is cool. I guess it's just like another little buff and you can change what it does, so I'll take that. Certainly pretty good.
Okay. See what we got. There's a battle going on. What's up, fellas? Oh, I'm getting the ergo as well. That's awesome. So they killed the puppets pretty easily. Okay. You look like you might be a tough bastard. Oh, decay. Abrasive, dim ergo fragment, hit a moonstone, star fragment. Okay. All right. Easy enough. We're at the St. Frangelico Cathedral already. Cool. We're making good progress in this episode. can switch the wish stone from here as well okay good to know it did say that but I forgot already now I will remember you who have sinned repent with your tears only those who have cleansed their souls I think it says can move forward but so may move forward it is so quick how fast do you think I can read out loud? I can hardly read that fast without speaking it. Stained choir sheet music. All right, the original score is unrecognizable because there's a sticky blue fluid over it. Someone wrote, Angel, why did you abandon us? The cathedral scares me, I wanna go home. Every night there's a monster crying in the basement. Even if I sing hymns, I can hear it in my ears. It'd be better if the Archbishop was with us, but he's busy praying. Angel, please hear our prayers. Help us go home, please. Hmm. All right, then. So we gotta go down with the worm, I'm guessing. Looks that way. All right. Cool. Well, let's go this way. Hmm. Okay, so 
That's like a pool of decay. And there's little platforms we can get on over here. Come on over here. Let's fight outside of the pool of decay. Does he just keep going, huh? I'm here. How are you liking Liza P? Hey, Ronan. What's up, buddy? And uh, I'm liking it quite a bit. We made great progress today. Uh, we're just learning about the decay a little bit, and we're in the cathedral for the first time. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, so Decay. Decay was taken away at my weapon durability. That was close. Oh! oh certainly gonna do it again now, yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use. I'm using all the wrong stuff because I added that extra stuff to my bar. Okay, my bad. Uh, that's awesome. I'm doing all right. Well, glad to hear it. I saw your update, and that was exciting. I can appreciate that. And yeah, I am. Um... Okay, real quick. Decay occurs when acid damage builds up. For both your character and the monsters, it increases the acid damage taken. It inflicts continuous weapon durability and acid damage on your character. It increases destruction damage dealt to monsters. The higher acid resistance, the slower the decay gauge fills. Your, uh, use a purification ampule to remove status ailments. Okay, so I learned my lesson there. And anyway, this guy's here now. Hey, what's up, Fi? Nice to see you, buddy. Gold Thanks for coming in. Are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. P perhaps they've already bloomed somewhere in Cry. Sure, I can respect that. Absolutely. And I'm glad that you're getting back into it and hopefully enjoying it. Alright. Let's try not to get absolutely destroyed by the mix of decay, enemies, pressing the wrong button since I have another thing in my slot, and all sorts of stuff like that. Let's just play and go where we need to go and go on out of there. I'm gonna pick this up. Weapon's good. That decay really drains your health fast. It does. It was draining health. It was draining uh, weapon durability very quickly. But that's all right. We, we got smarter. Excuse me. <laughs> Apparently, we're not that smart. We got smarter, and we drained, or uh, we ran through that health draining liquid. So screw that. I don't want to deal with it. Woo! What are you doing over there, buddy? Just hanging in there, huh? Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So close. 
That was such a good one. I don't have a lot of health, so I can't really be playing around with that too much. I was hoping we could make it. I'm sure we could jump to it, but it looks like we're actually supposed to drop down onto that platform. So I'm going to try and do that instead, or I'm going to at least wait until we get to a stargazer up here before trying again, if possible. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we can fall right there onto that platform. We will be good to go. I thought you were going to fall off. I got to be honest. Whew, okay. Good. We got everything. Now, we don't have any health. We have our cube, which was messing me up a little bit last time. But you know what? Our cube might actually do us some good here. I do want to adjust this really quickly while we're in here. So, I want to put the cube next. And I don't want to have the lamp in here right now, just so I don't have to do that extra button every time. Let's see what we have here. So, we have a heavier frame for more damage reduction. Uh, a made-to-order item specific to LADA, L-A-D-A, the Puppet Parts Workshop. It has been in use for a long time, so despite being heavy, it is reliable. Uh, hey, what's up, Strict? Nice to see you, buddy. So let's take a look at all our stuff. This looks really good. So we have a standard one. Uh, these are really good. I should have been looking at these a little bit. So can enhance resistance to electric shock, can enhance resistance to decay. Pendage newly developed by the Workshop Union. It has a new design enough versatility to be used in different places. Okay. So, oh, it's a tough one. I think we go with this one for now. And let's take a look. We're on the Belford Break cartridge, but we have the shark, uh, Shock cartridge as well. I'll keep the break for now. Don't have another one there. I don't know if we'll get a slow roll if we put this on. Um, I can't tell if that's any slower or not. No, that's not. So, I'm going to put on the heavier one and get more defense. There we go. Uh, cool. So, that's something I definitely should have been having on, but now we know. And let's go ahead and do this real quick. And now we have someone right here who is going to be our next victim. Goodbye. It looks like I could actually drop down here without too much issue. But I don't know if that's going to pay off. So I could drop there from what I can tell. But I don't think it really does anything for me. So I could probably jump from here to there. Oh! Oh! That was unfortunate. That was not what we wanted to happen. All right, gravity death counter increase. Rip, thank you. Classic gravity death. Although there is actually something I want to do while we're when we're coming back here. I want to check out using that little lift thingy while we're down here. this right here oh that's just death okay well I'm glad we tried it. I thought there was gonna be something secret down there like maybe a garbage room or uh, a furnace or something but I did not expect just death uh, you got me there I gotta be honest <laughs> okay
Well, uh, as fascinating as that was, let's go back to where we were going. I'm going to try and make that jump, I think. I think I want to try and make that jump into the wall when we get up there. Might as well pick this up while we're here. We have more decay resistance now. Oh, it's a pretty significant difference as well. I don't know if I should... I mean, I know we can kill all these guys because we did, but I don't know if I really need to. They're going to make this section a little difficult if we don't. But honestly, I'm not sure if it'll be so bad. Because as long as I can get to the next floor, uh, it's not really an issue. And it looks like that won't be a problem at all. Now we get to keep all of our health. And I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. I think I want to try and jump to that. Ugh. Nope. There's a platform we can land on there, though. So I guess we're not supposed to go there from there. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like there should be a way for us to jump farther. It feels like the jump is so short, genuinely. Oh, it's pretty darn short, isn't it? Okay. It is not a Dark Souls jump. It is very short. A little hop. said when to go. Alright, well anyway, we're back here again. So this time we're just gonna actually keep going. So I don't think there's anything else for us here. So I guess what I have to do is get on that oh Sorry, I thought you were dead. I guess what I have to do is get on... What's wrong with you? Get on that platform right there. From higher up, I see where we can get there. So this is above the first area. Wow, that is going fast. So this is Sen's Fortress. No. No, why are you guys just sitting here? Oh, no, uh, no, I was, just, no, I was reaching for help. Wait, why was that? Oh gosh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I see how it's gonna be. It's really gonna be Sen's Fortress up in here. Can't believe it. 
I did not think I would see that. Okay. Excuse me. Getting a little sleepy. Ah, uh, what were the painting guys from Dark Souls? The painting guardians. It reminds you of the painting guardians. Okay. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Wayne Chu. I don't think I had ever thanked you. I apologize. I am. Um... I really, really would like to get a stargazer a little bit closer. All right. Just getting wrecked in the rat. Oh, like because the painting guardians were doing that? Yeah, that is actually very true. Um, the rafters are surprisingly the, one of the smallest problems here. If I've fallen off, it was usually because I was trying to jump where I shouldn't. I was trying to jump somewhere I shouldn't have. Are you going to make me kill you this time? But the enemies on these rafters are giving me a hard time, that's for sure. back to where we were. We've got one vial of health, which isn't too bad, depending on what we have to do here. We had run out very quickly last time. So, now we have to not get killed by Sen's Fortress over here. I don't know if I can hide behind anything. Oh, okay. There we go. So I don't think I need to fall down there. That looks like death. The Archbishop is dead. Those who are still alive must flee from the dead. Okay. So they really are like zombies. Okay, it's just one of So far, so good. Doing all right. Floor looks like it wants to break here. I do not want to fall through the floor, but yes. Okay, so we have to do a dash jump here.
So we could drop onto that. Which uh, might lead us somewhere good, but I, it's a little hard for me to tell right now. Oh, we can push this over? Oh, so we ignited it, and I guess it took away all the decay. Well, that was cool. Good to know. Alright, so there's a ladder here. There's a door here. Okay, so we can open that door. It's not locked. I think there's a lever here. Oof. Lots of things here. Okay, I think that's the one that gets us into the hole in the wall. Don't know exactly what that lever did. Let's go up this ladder. Crescent Moonstone, great. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, really. I think we're good, so let's jump down. I guess let's see what's in this room. I don't trust it. Big open room like this. Okay, that's what I figured. Cat dust, all right. You're not a boss, though. You're just a big enemy. I'm sure you have a way to get up here or injure me up here. The developers want me to think that you don't, but... He was going toward that wheel. Maybe he throws it, and maybe I need him to do that to destroy something. So, actually, I am going to go up here. See, he's definitely going for the wheel. Alright, pick up that wheel. Move it out of the way for me. Oh, you're not? You just actually don't have anything you can do? Oh. respect you brother listen to me I don't want to die here today so if it's all the same just let me out that door all right I want to check this out This is what I thought it was. Now I do not have a lot of health at all. No, I'm gonna get killed here. That's such a shame, I don't wanna die here. Oh, no, <laughs> dang it. Woo, I knew it, I knew it. That guy, I could have jumped on on that guy. I could have kept climbing up there and jumping on him, but why? Why did he have nothing to do? I thought he was going to have something to do up there. Ah, oh, all right. Well, now we know exactly where we're going and how to get there. And we sent the brazier down, which eliminated the decay. So we did make a lot of progress. I would like to go back up there, though, and uh, take another look. See if I can get that chest. Uh, this does look nicer though. Maybe I could actually survive this fall now. I don't know if I'm going to try it right now, but no, it still looks like it is decay down there. So I think that's just permanent death for some reason. 
All right, well, at least we don't have to run through the decay. And it opened up a little area that we can actually go to. So that is great news. No hit run. Here we go. Okay. It was, in fact, not a no hit run, but you know what? It's cool. That. Uh. A very much hit run. It was very much get hit several times and die run. It was not a no hit run. Mm. It's possible I'm missing something here because I just feel like this run is too long to get to it. Like there's nothing going on in any of these sections. Oh my god. That's where we are meant to go, but maybe there is a... Let's open this door. Is there a little do work code while streaming? Uh, like, your work? Like, at your job? That would depend on the contract. For me personally, um, yeah, I mean, I don't think they would like using their company time <laughs> I don't think they would like if I streamed let alone was was sharing the code if you're just talking about your own code though it doesn't matter I think it'll do work code while streaming yeah I don't think it's uh I don't think it's a problem if it's custom if it's something for your job yes I would say it'd probably be theft of company time they would consider it have been need to code the cryptic vessel to obtain a hidden clue so this was definitely worthwhile but I don't know what that is yet. We'll, of course, figure that out. <laughs> why, why, Strick? Were you thinking about do doing that? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, you code for a living. Would it be illegal to stream your coding unless that under game development on Twitch? Um... I don't think it would be illegal, like, for, on Twitch, uh, for, I don't think it would be illegal because of Twitch. However, what I do, yes, I could not share it because it's owned by the company. Whenever I write code, it's, uh, I'm under contract and it basically belongs to them. So sure, it's my code, but I can't share it with other people. So it would fall into that area and I would, I would get in trouble. Uh, I think in general, I don't think it would be illegal uh, as long as the company was okay with you doing that, though. Yeah, it's the company. Yeah, I think otherwise it would be it would be allowed. Um, because you're not really doing anything wrong as long, like, as long as you're actually working. Uh, you would still be working, so, you know, you're not really, like, breaking. It wouldn't be theft of the company time at that point if you are actually working the whole time. If you're not, I would say if you're not interacting with the chat or anything, you could probably get away with it, honestly. It is an interesting thought, though. Alright, so we made it the whole way here. This time we have all five vials of health and I have very little damage on me. So now I just have to not get killed in some random freak accident here like this like that that was almost me getting killed and now i want to drop i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it it's annoying to have to reset and go back after this but i want to do this because i want to get this chest so i'm going for it and i'm gonna kill this guy and we're gonna succeed beautiful her head went through the wall I think her head literally went through the wall there. 
Legion plug. Okay. Craft modify Legion arm. A Legion plug is needed to craft Legion arms, which can be done at the Benini craft machine. Consume a Legion caliber to modify Legion arms. Okay, so that was pretty important what we got. Will this pick me up and, like, actually take me? Oh, it so does. That's the shortcut. Okay, cool. So this is actually useful. Good. All right. Everything's coming together. We got 15 minutes. I guess... I don't think we can just open this door, right? It's probably gonna be locked, right? Let's see if we can beat this guy. Since he literally doesn't have any sort of plan when you come up here, I feel like the the way to beat this guy is lead him over here where he will chase you and attack you. And then once he does that, you, uh, you just climb up to the top Climb up to the top. Now oh, he actually hit me. And drop and do an air attack on him. It did not do like anything to him. And he killed me. Hmm. So I guess I have to kill him. That'd be my thought. Um, the air attack thing did not work. I don't know if I missed somehow. It looked like I hit him. It didn't really do anything to him. Whereas air attacks usually do more. So that's a little strange. But, uh, okay. Well, we've done everything except for beat that guy in that area. So, I guess that's what we gotta do. We'll give it one more go. And then we'll wrap it up. If we beat him, great. If we don't, well, this is where we'll start for next stream. It is just such a long run over here. I feel like there would be something else. Is it, you know, there would be a save somewhere or something. But the game developers did not seem to agree. Going for the no hit run again. Oh, she hit me up the ladder. And I hit the wooden pole. It's a rough one, ladies and gents. Oh, it is a rough one, ladies and gents. Okay, we made it. It was kind of rough, though. They're still throwing stuff at me. Bro, I thought that was safe. That was safe before. Like I said, it's a rough one. All right, let's get this person to break it. Well, would wish, I wish that we had the five like we did the other time, but you know what? We work with what we got. Is there anything we need to do over here? Like, I could drop right there, but that doesn't help. I know where that's at, actually. Okay. So, no, I know where all that's at, so I don't think any of this helps if I, like, drop. I'm pretty sure I have to go beat this guy. Oh, all right. Let's give it our best shot. small amount of ergo that we had. Nope. Uh, I remember playtesting the game I'm coding currently during it. I was like, who the hell designed this crap? Nice. That is funny. Yeah, I can respect that, though. Hey, sometimes it feels like that, all right? So it worked better this time. Um, I certainly do not have enough health to, to 
to beat this guy unless I get really, really good at... I ha... Oh my gosh, look at that. I have heard, you guys have told me that the fire bombs in this game are incredibly overpowered. It is looking like maybe a good time to try that theory out. Because he's going to run away back to his little spot that he does. Go back to your spot. Okay, this guy has a lot of health, or he's not very... Ugh. I don't think he should heal that, so I'm going to go back into this. Uh, do I have any sort of, like, other bombs? Oh, these are all throwing objects. You know what? I don't ever use my consumables. Immune to fire, right? I don't ever use my consumables. I think... Oh, that's fine. That's not what I wanted to do, but it's fine, actually, because I was missing out. I think it's a good time. Let's use all of our throwables to kill this man. Because I would like to kill him before the end of the stream, and I don't think I'm going to do that regularly right now. But I never use these things. I always have tons of them, so we're going to use them all now. I don't know if I can throw it that far. I cannot. Unfortunate. But you know what? I'm learning in this process, too, if I ever do I have to use these again. So this is electric damage. I'm not sure how much electric will do. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. I would make it so he threw something back just to spite you. It's weird that he does. he's just sitting there, and I'm allowed to do this. Honestly, it is weird. So uh, the moon phase pocket watch. I want to put that back in. Uh, at this point, I am going to... Oh, he regained that because that was potential health. I was going to say I'm just going to go attack him, but honestly, I'd rather play it safe. I don't mind losing these. Okay, this doesn't seem to hurt them. Okay, so I have a few options here. Let's try the pipe. It says it does pretty good damage. Uh, whoops. I need to do this. Okay, it didn't do too much against him. And my last option here is this. Swung powerfully. I don't think that's going to really cut it here. But... So we got to do this. We got to be careful here. Because we could screw this up. Um, I could actually... If I'm really mega mind. I could actually throw this down here, which might attract him. Oh, it looks like it. I think I've already got his attention, so it might not work. Can I attract you over here? No, I can't. Okay. All right. I love that. Yeah, exactly. I love all he's doing is just staring at me. He probably finally complained to the dev saying this isn't fair. He must be like upset. He's like, bro, come on. Give me something. It's funny, isn't it? Alright, so let's say we start coming down. I need I wanted to come over here because if I am gonna melee attack him, I wanna do the air attack. Just like I did the first time. When I landed it, it actually did very nice damage. That is so bad. I got hit on like an invisible wall. He's gonna do his little shield dash. When he does, I'm going to have to... I did not realize there was a wall right where I'm at. Okay. Come on. I want to do the... Come on, let me up here. I did such good damage the one time when I jumped and actually landed on him. Yes, like that, because then he gets stunned. Oh, he, like, parried me. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Give me that quartz, baby. What a close fight. I love I love that that's how we ended up winning that. That was the cheapest fight I've ever won, and I respect it. All right. And now we actually can go through here. So it was not time wasted because we did have to kill him, I believe. This was not open before. 
We might die because we have like no health, but at least we got in here and at least we Let's go easy win Right? That's what I'm talking about. That's the skill that you guys come to see. Okay, so we got a supply box we can expand. Good. Hopefully this is some sort of shortcut or something. This area is a massive pain to navigate. Thank you guys for staying with me. Give me support. We used everything at our disposal, but we actually beat that guy, and I'm so happy about that. Oh, good, and a stargazer. Oh, good. Life is good. I don't think we have enough to level up, honestly, but life is still good. You're in the library. Let's check out this first initial room here, then we'll wrap up the stream because it is time. But that was good progress in today's episode. I'm glad we did all that. Let's see what she has to say here. I'm surprised to see who's well <laughs> alive. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters, I didn't die. But my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. Thanks a lot, Strict. I really appreciate Archbishop you being here. true saint. He was my Same to you, David. Thank you so much, guys. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die, but perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy mark as quickly as you can. Okay. I can't die. All right, so that's what she's got to say, so we know what her deal is. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, so let's go back to the stargazer. Actually rest at it. And there we go, guys. So we're going to start in the library next stream. But this was a very successful episode. Thank you all for watching and for joining me. And I'll catch up with you next week, next Wednesday. Same time as always, 6 to, or I'm sorry, 4.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night. Don't thank David. He doesn't need the encouragement. You know what? That's fair. I would normally agree with that. Although this time all he was saying was have a nice night. All right. I respect that. Most of the time, David doesn't need the discourage the encouragement. He does need the discouragement. But, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. And, Chris, thank you for being here, buddy. Everyone, have a good night, and I'll catch up with you next week. Bye, guys.